Hey guys, it's Kristen with ChristiansDoYoga.com. And in this video, I want to show you how to break down the posture chair. <laughs> so chair pose, you know, your teachers put you there before for way too long. Well, I want to show you how to effectively and efficiently take this posture so that you are getting the maximum amount of work and uh, building some strength while you're here. So when you're ready, go ahead and meet me at the top of your mat in Mountain Pose. So starting in Mountain Pose, let's just do a little bit of alignment here before we get started. Go ahead and roll those shoulders back so that your chest is open. Bring the ears back over the shoulders. And just relax the shoulders towards the mat. And we're going to start to turn our core on just a little bit. So bring those ribs together and bring the belly button towards the spine. Think about tucking your tailbone down. So you're going to kind of bring the belly button and the pants button together, so to speak. And just soften your knees a little bit, pressing into the four corners of your foot. So just kind of feeling this out here a little bit. So for a chair pose, a couple of really important things to think about when you're here is your foot placement. So a lot of times when we're in these postures, especially like chair pose, it's kind of intense or it can be intense. Um, we kind of grip with our toes. And so I want to encourage you to keep your toes happy. Keep them free. So looking down at your feet, go ahead and lift your toes. You can even wiggle them. And go ahead and root into everything that's left on your mat. So it's going to be the four corners of your foot. So it's just literally like if you're drawing a square on your foot, that's where we're going to root into. So for chair pose, depending on the class or the experience that you are um, in, your feet uh, may be directly underneath your hips. Some people and some teachers will have you bring your feet together. So I'm going to let you decide how you want to take your chair pose today. I like mine with my feet a little separated. So when you're ready, go ahead and take those hands overhead with the ears between the biceps. So, so check out your core here. Um, I naturally kind of want to back bend here. So even as I lifted my hands up, my hips went out. And this is important because here's what we see a lot of. As we start to sink into our chair pose, our hips go back because we're trying to get really low. And some of us may not have the back flexibility or strength to go that low. And that's okay but you'll get there. So think about tucking that tailbone under as you sink those hips down. And let's just start a little bit higher. Um, I've heard this called bar stool instead of chair. So maybe if you're not like way down here in your chair pose, you can just stay up a little bit here, pressing into the four corners of your feet, drawing that belly button to the spine and the tailbone down. Relax the shoulders. Keep those fingers engaged though. And your ears are just between your biceps. So just take a couple breaths here. Just kind of feel through this. See what you're feeling. Take a look. You should be able to see your toes so that those knees aren't too far forward. Bring those hips back. Good. And maybe you sink a little lower. Good. So again, check those toes and check in with your core. This is one of those postures, especially depending on how long you're here, you're going to want to breathe. Focus on your breathing. It's very tempting to stop breathing here. Take one more breath here. Good. On the inhale, rise. Big breath in. Go ahead and take that back bend at the top. And exhale, go ahead and just fold. We're going to reset here. Just letting go. You can bend those knees a little bit. Just around that back. Um, chair pose is a great posture to build strength in the legs, the glutes, and also the low back. So this probably feels pretty good on your low back here. So you guys, we're going to get in a chair a little bit different this time as we practice it together. Go ahead and look at your toes. Sink those hips down. Bring your fingertips just to the outside of your feet, to so the outside of the edges of your feet. And then think about engaging your core from here. So lifting the pelvic floor, bring the belly button to the spine. Bring those ribs together. So you're already starting to feel this. And you're just going to gently bring those fingertips overhead. Maybe you find that you're in a little bit of a lower posture here. Take one more breath here, really sinking into those heels. Maybe you take a little bit of a lower, um, your hips a little lower. Good. Go ahead and fold and release. Good. 
So go ahead and practice this a couple more times, and that way next time it comes up in your flow, in your sequence, you feel confident and ready to power through this posture. All right, friends, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you liked it and you did find it helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. And listen, this is just one of a couple of postures that you'll want to learn to feel, feel confident on your mat. And I've actually created something called a Posture Breakdown Guide. And it's free. It's for you. You can get yours at posturebreakdown.com. Um, or just click the links below and get that today.